Good morning, I'm Dr. Gloria Cimaglia, researcher at the Dementia Research Institute. And this is my poster, that it's a new approach uh, to study energy decline in Parkinson's disease using retinal ganglion cells as a model because they are extremely susceptible to energy sh changes that show up at very early time point due to change in the structure of dendrite that is extremely linked to energy and mitochondrial function. As you can see here, we could we look at the beginning to see if there were male um, and female differences, so sex differences in each group. And yes, the, the, they are there and it's in the control as well. So we split the two groups together and what we could identify is the, in the female, especially in the Parkinson, we have a plethora of biochemical changes starting at very early time point. So at four weeks, ending up at 72 weeks, that that signify that at the beginning, they have um, a very hyper competent metabolism because they need in some way to compensate to the changes that are happening in the disease. So they go through a more glycolytic phase, ending up in a more like um, ketone bodies sort of source of energy. And in the male, that it's less evident, but they predominantly use at the beginning um, lipids to fulfill their energy. So they have deficit in a lipid metabolism and then at the amino acid points at the end. But the interesting part when we looked at just what was happening in the Parkinsonian model, uh, and in the progression, we could see that the metabolites that were enriched in our pathway were also enriched in human samples for cerebral spinal fluid, indicating a higher um, possibility to show up in different neurodegenerative disease, in particular Parkinson disease, as you can see here from the progression. At, from four weeks and eight weeks, and also at 72 weeks. That indicates that the, the eye and energy changes that can be detected by the eye can be used as a very good biomarker for early detection of the disease. Thank you.